Hi, Dustin Lynch here, Arkansas CW, sitting here with Steph Dawson, star of the movie Painted Woman. How you doing, Steph? I'm doing great. Tell me a little bit about your character. I play this amazing girl called Julie Richards, who mm -hmm. um, basically was living in 1890 in a time where women had very little choice and were put in situations where they just had to survive. Right. And this is a girl that um, grew up with not much at all in her family. Uh, put her into becoming a kept woman right. with a much older man. And then this film is about her kind of escaping that world, but also finding herself sure. along the way. And it's it's a really amazing female character. Oh, that's what I'm yeah. hearing. Was it fun to be like the revenge kind of character, like seeking justice? Oh, yeah, except it's it's actually more like heartfelt than that. Oh, OK. It's, she's doing it from a place of you know, saving another girl from right. going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. and it's it's not that like, you know, gonna get a gun and blow people away. It's right. like very much like a last resort for Stuff that survival. I don't like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah. it's, it's really badass. Right. Oh, no, I'm totally, uh, <laughs> but, okay. So it's like, you know, you of course are from Australia. I am. And so has it, is this your first Western, American Western? Yes. Is oh it? my God. I grew up riding horses. Okay. I did this crazy sport called vaulting, which is like gymnastics on horseback. That oh, was my thing growing that's up. That's insane. I know. It's totally, <laughs> totally insane. Right. The, I don't know how my parents let me do it. They were constantly terrified. But it has always, like horses and film are my two biggest passions. Right. And to combine them in a Western, you like, had a lot of fun. mate, it was just... Just, it was a dream. So you were definitely at ease jumping on a horse. Oh and stuff yeah, like, okay. yeah. I wanted to do way more of it. They didn't want me to break my face. Right. <laughs> first day, okay. which probably I would have. So you know what? Uh, you know we're at the Bentonville Film Festival. You know, and uh, this year's kind of theme is diversity yes. in film and stuff like that. And so what we've been kind of touching on your movie is how cool it is and unusual for a woman to be like the you know the, the lead in an American western. You know. Absolutely. I mean that right there yeah. is why I signed on to this film. Yeah? Yes. Cool. I've I'd been actively like, you know, searching, I guess, my whole life right. for this opportunity. It just doesn't come along all the time. Yeah, I mean there really doesn't. And it's like, you know, I mean you look at like like Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill and stuff like that. You know, yeah. his his female, you know, he has strong yeah. but not a lot of that going on. So it's kind of cool that they're kind of doing a shift because it shows that a woman can take care of Absolutely. herself. Absolutely, and, and it's totally bankable yeah. these days to have a chick in the lead. I sure. Mean, I come from the Hunger Games world. I mean, yeah. nothing else proves the, that compa it, You know, that you give Jennifer Lawrence a bow, man, she's yeah. taking them out. But it's a similar thing. It's like this, you know, even within that, there's like a beautiful subtlety to that journey. And right. same with Julie's. It's like these women have so little choice, yet right. it is that that the small acts of rebellion in in that world sure. that you know the arrow pointed like that and said that right. sets her up into a, a whole different thing. The same with Julie. Yeah. She's a girl who, you know, even the costumes inform this film. Yeah. She starts off in a world where she's wearing corsets yeah. and like, oh, man, I've never <laughs> worn a corset before. I couldn't even eat lunch the first time. Oh. <laughs> but it it's like it is that restriction. It's yeah. like it, it's it's got this thing in the film where like you can't breathe. Right. That, that's what it. That's and, what I felt like. And that was real it. life back then too. Totally. And then suddenly she's in this whole other world where she she's experiencing things for the first time. Right. And, um, yeah, it's a really it's a really beautiful and powerful transition. So you know, I mean, I'm not gonna go into like knocking old. I love old school westerns and stuff like that. I mean, they're they're really cool. But it's like, and what we touched on your typical old school western, old white guy. Seeking justice right. kills the bad guys away. Now, do you think a film like this, say uh, like a 12 year old or somebody who's not used to seeing the old westerns, and then and then he comes seeing this movie? I mean, could you see this kind of becoming a thing? Like women, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's so appealing. Like, right. You know, James touched on it. It's it's having a a woman as a lead. I think Gina Davis actually. I saw an interview with her yesterday. She said it beautifully. Like, mm. you know, it's. It's up to us to put that out there right. so that people can see that that's them on screen. Right. That's them. They have a place in this world. They totally. have a voice and they're important. Yeah, everybody, and, yeah. And it but this film is you know, it's 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 more than that. It's it's relatable to right. everybody. Everybody can relate to it. But to have a chick. Right? I mean in a Western? Oh never. You're speaking heresy, darling. <laughs>